Hi, welcome to the Nicole Railway Heritage Centre. I'm Mark, I'm the Chairman of the Board of the Trustees here at the Centre. I'm just going to give you a short update of what we're doing in these COVID times and what you can do to help us out. As you can see, we are stood outside the front of the centre now where we have cleared the site ready for our next project, which is bringing Drumbo home and the associated site works that we're going to do. We're going to be building a platform along here for Drumbo to sit aside so you can be able to walk up to her, have a good look around her. And as well as our rolling stock, which is sitting over there at the side at the moment, you'll be able to board that and have a look around. So further work off the Drumbro project is to revitalise this area here, which is the old platform off the station. This area is going to be concreted. As well as that, we're going to do work on the carriages here, Coach 58 and Railcar 15, to revitalise them and put them back to their former glory. Part of our work here at the Railway Heritage Centre is to restore old vehicles from the Donegal Railways. You can see here we have Trailer 5. We have stripped her down. We're doing a survey on her at the moment to see actually what needs replacing on her. But of course, because of COVID, all this work has now stopped. Here we are outside Wagon 30, originally a cattle wagon, would have been pulled behind the steam engines on the freight services. This is another of our restoration projects, which is on hold at the moment because of the current situation. Also, we have here the signal, which uh, was outside the station house. The post that it was on is rotten. And again, due to the current situation, we are unable to source a suitable wooden post to replace it. So, as you can see, along with the revamp of the museum here that we started at the beginning of the year, we have a lot of projects that are ongoing currently. Being closed for a large part of the year due to the current COVID pandemic has affected our funding. We haven't been able to hold our events at Easter, Halloween and Christmas. We were actually only open as a museum in July, August and September before we had to close again because of the COVID pandemic. We play an important role here in rescuing and preserving our railway and industrial heritage and being able to showcase it internationally and nationally to our visitors and to our social media sites. We also play a role in local tourism by bringing in visitors to see the centre here, and which in turn helps the sector and creates local employment. So how can you help us? We are a registered charity, so all donations are greatly received. I'll put a link below to that. We also have our own merchandise, which would make ideal Christmas presents. Here we have some of our publications that are available at the centre. Michael Bunch's Diaries 1 and 2. That's a record of Michael Bunch, who was in this area at the time in the 50s, and he kept a diary and took photos. So you can actually go through that and see the workings of the system in the early 50s. We also have Through the Hills of Denigal, which tells you what's actually left and you, is still visible to see of the Donegal Railways. We have the County Donegal Rail in colour, which is actually full of some lovely colour photographs of the railway in its operation. And then we have the Lost Willie, which again is a visitor's guide and lets you know what's actually left off the Lost Willie to see. Here we have some framed original tickets from the railway, and these are framed luggage labels. We also have our 2021 calendar, which is also available. Here we have some more merchandise. We have a lovely little storybook here for children, which is in both English and Irish about our steam engine Drumbo. We also have a nice Drumbo clock, some fridge magnets, a Drumbo key ring, and we also have this lovely little Drumbo badge, which each year we bring out a new badge. We also do posters. Here we have a withdrawal of the railway service poster, which is from 1959. We also have a copy of the advertising posters for Donegal Railways. And we have it in two larger sizes as well, Donegal Railways and the Lost Willie Railways. The final way to support us is to become a member. And if you become a member, you automatically get one of the badges. So all these items are available through our website, which I'll put details down below. We can supply them via mail order or do a local click and collect. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.